Keep your hand at the end of your pencil when drawing large areas. This will help you to shade a large area much easier and keep your shading light. You are watching Draw With Me BAR, and today I will share with you some basic techniques for drawing with graphite pencils. Today I'm going to be working with a 2H pencil and a 9B pencil, so you can see techniques on two different types of pencils. One of the best techniques that I can share with you when it comes to graphite pencils, is to always keep your pencils sharp. Drawing paper has lots of tiny individual bumps and creases, so keeping your pencils sharp will allow you to get your shading into the creases. This will keep your drawing looking more smooth. Another basic technique is to rotate the pencil while you are drawing. This will help the pencil to stay sharper for longer, and to help you get the most out of your pencil. When you rotate the pencil, you are using all sides of the graphite. This allows you to reduce waste of the graphite and sharpen less. Let's move on to shading techniques. My personal favorite shading technique is graphite powder because it is the smoothest shading technique that doesn't leave any pencil marks behind. It's also very easy to erase. This makes it a lot easier to add highlights in your shaded areas. I definitely recommend getting some graphite powder but, if you don't have any graphite powder, I will show you how to shade with a pencil. You are going to shade with your hand at the end of the pencil in large oval shaped motions. We want very smooth and light shading, so we will use the side of the pencil to shade rather than the point. This will help to eliminate any pencil marks. We also want to blend in oval shaped motions as well to get the smoothest result possible. Let's try it with a 9B pencil. When you shade in a back and forth motion, you will see sudden start and stop points in your shaded area. We want the shaded areas to be as smooth as possible. That is why oval shaped motions are best, because there are no stopping and starting points anywhere on the paper. Finally, we will talk about creating small details. The more detail you have in your drawing, the better the drawing will turn out. When creating small details such as dots, lines or circles, we want our hand to be as close to the point of the pencil as possible. This will allow you for much better control and to detail smaller areas that are otherwise harder to detail. And that is all for our video today. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.